churches of LA. An understanding that, that they are not as far from God as perhaps they thought mm -hmm. or perceived themselves to be. I, I think it, it's very, very important to use mediums such as this to make the gospel relevant. If you actually look and read the gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they actually are a reality show. <laughs> this, it's, it's, it's a myth that preachers are perfect. It's a, it's a myth that all preachers are taking all the church's money. I mean, there's a lot going on out there that have, you know, distracted people from the house of God and from the kingdom and from God. You know, I think this is the perfect way to win people and to in, reintroduce the kingdom to people. From a real uh, transparent perspective that we learn, I hope we take from this show, that we learn to love our neighbors as we love ourselves and not be so quick to judge because you really don't know our stories until you give us an opportunity to share them. We want to set expectation. Uh, this is not an evangelical crusade. Uh, and I think people who are expecting it to be that uh, will be disappointed and overly critical. Um, I do believe, however, through our lives, um, you'll see stories of redemption, not only in our lives, but in the lives of people who are called to minister. So I'm excited about that. There is not any real difference between people in the body of Christ in terms of significance. And I think that what the show will do is it will show everybody who dares to watch, and I hope you influence people to watch, that men of God and women of God are people just like everybody yeah. else. You know, the, the thing that I would like for you guys to take away from here when it comes to the show is that, number one, I would love for you guys to give it an honest, an honest opportunity to speak to you, that you listen to it and watch it. It's got great content. It's got interesting characters. Uh, and, and it's got something that it has the potential to really help people. Uh, Jesus, the things that we actually know about him are not a product primarily of his ministry to masses in an audience, but it was one-on-one -on -one encounters with people here and people there up close and personal. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's just uh, magnificent that this vehicle is being used because that's what Jesus did. We hope that we win new souls into the kingdom by our transparency and, uh, and, and make church attractive again. You know, people have been so turned off from church because we've been projecting perfection from, from the church and from the pulpit. And hopefully, once people see how imperfect we are, but yet we're still able to be used by God in such a way where it touched lives and changed lives, hopefully, it will close the gap and, 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 and make a connection where there's been a disconnect in the culture. No matter what situation you find yourself in, where you are in life, uh, Jesus Christ is the answer. The Word of God is called the Book of Life because it speaks to us what life speaks to us. And any problem you could possibly have, you can find provision for it in the Word of God. At the end of the day, for God to be God, Mm -hmm. Not God's man, but for God to be God. Mm -hmm. Because we have become so iconoclastic in our disposition towards preachers, we act as if they represent us to God. And the truth is, there is only one mediator mm -hmm. between man and God, and that's the man Christ, Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I want people to have a healthy wow. view, a healthy view view of preachers yeah. so that when preachers make mistakes they're not slaughtered they're not utterly destroyed because we have a way of saying 99 and a half just won't do <laughs> nobody brings a hundred percent to God or it would not be grace Mm. And I'm going to say <coughs> this and I close. <laughs> Come on, Mitch. What, what I hope this show does, I hope it proves this. I hope it does, as I know it's doing it. We generally say, to whom much is given, 
much is required and that's true. But it did not say to whom all, to whom much is given, all is required. It says to whom much is given, much is required. Not to whom much is given, all is required. Because you can only give what it is that's been given to you. And if you're not God, it evens the playing field. And I am convinced that this show helps without scandal to put God back in his rightful place in the minds of the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.